Many people were in attendance today for day two of the Arvin Kangas trial. Now, it was an emotional day as the evidence was presented, including material allegedly captured in real time by the two slain Alaska State Troopers. Stephanie Woodard reports now from Ninana. Testimony continued today in the trial of Arvin Kangas, most of which concentrating on the actual tampering with physical evidence charges and a recording the prosecution says caught it all on tape. And I stopped midway and asked, you know, Gabe's in the truck, right? And he says, no. I said, where's he at? He said, I, he's still there. And I wasn't very nice and said, you just left him there. He said, I thought they were going to kill me. To date, prosecution has interviewed over 11 witnesses in order to establish the evidence tampering in the case. On the other side said they're both dead. And uh, I told that individual to not move, keep their hands above their head. The, the, the big thing I noticed was that uh, Gabe's taser was out of its holster and I think it was laying on the floor. It, it bright yellow, it, it caught my eye. Each witness who was on scene was questioned to prove that no one actually touched the troopers or their weapons. A trooper would, would not have his uh, belt buckle to the left or right of the center line of his body. Did you disturb uh, the bodies or handguns or firearms or weapons in any manner? No, I never touched uh, Sergeant Johnson or Trooper Rich. Yesterday, Arvin Kangas' wife, Judy Kangas, testified that she saw him with the trooper's pistol. That evidence was also supported by recording video and audio of the events that happened up to the trooper's death during and after the events. I did hear voices. Did you recognize those voices? Yes, I did. Who were the voices? Uh, the voices uh, were those of uh, Arvin Kangas, uh, Satch, and Judy Kangas. Trial is expected to continue into next week. I'm Stephanie Woodard reporting from Ninana.